a ghost who disappears through cracks in the wall, and his talking rodent sidekick. These are two characters in BYU TV's The Canterville Ghost who need some special effects help. Here's how the production's visual effects professionals pull it off. There is a character um, called Cesspit, um, who is a rat, played by John T. Stevens, very, very funnily, who has been stuck with Sir Simon throughout. So they are quite tired of each other. <laughs> He's not just a side character, he's Sir Simon's main sidekick. So he's with him a lot of the time, he's got a lot of key story elements, as well as being his main sort of um, friend within his ghost chambers. So there's lots of scenes where it's just Sir Simon talking to Cesspit and Cesspit talking back, which is actually quite tricky to do because we were tasked with making Cesspit look as realistic as possible. But real rats can't talk, so we have to make him believably talk yet not, um, not breaking the line of making him unbelievable. So when we're filming scenes with Cesspit, we generally start, well, we, obviously we have Anthony, the Canterville ghost himself, and he's talking to thin air effectively, so he's imagining Cesspit is on this table or wherever, and he, that's his cue to look at. We also had a little um, a fluffy toy, a toy rat, which we used to basically help frame the shot, sometimes gave Anthony an eye line and things like that. It's very hard to keep your eye on one spot unless there's something to look at. To make it easier for Tony Head, who's playing um, Sir Simon, on set, we actually cast the voice of Cesspit and had the actor on set with us. No longer play to an empty house. You, 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 you terrify the mice. Who actually, it was, it was the right thing to do because they, the nuances that both of them brought to each other were fantastic. We got really good performances. The other thing is Sir Simon. He's a ghost and there's lots of ghost stories around at the moment and they disappear in lots of different ways. And we wanted to bring something a little bit different and unique to it. So because Sir Simon is made up of lots and lots of atoms, he can't actually walk through a wall. So he has to go either up a chimney, through the floorboard, under the door, wherever it may be. So we were looking at something that allows him to dissipate. So we see him almost as a whole body break into lots of different atoms, move around and then disappear to wherever he's dissipating to. So we came up with this idea of him kind of vaporizing. So when he gets scared or startled, he can basically turn himself into this fog that we came up with. And we use the chimneys in, in the house to enable him to sort of transport through the walls. The visual effects are crucial because you want to really believe and invest in um, these characters and their worlds and not feel that they have been kind of created from some, some other imagination that makes them otherworldly. Whilst they are otherworldly, they've also got to feel like they're very much part of this world. Enjoy Sir Simon and Cesspit's love-hate relationship when you tune in to BYU TV's The Canterville Ghost. You can also watch the miniseries with the free BYU TV app when the episodes are available for streaming. I'll see you again for another BYU TV Insider.